I think it's pretty obvious, his, his uh, sense of melody. He was just a big, soulful, melodic player. Melody, 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 always melody. And there isn't any forced agony or forced feeling at all, it's just all so natural. And I think this sense of melody is one of the things that speaks to Ellie the most, is something that I believe they share. This is how you fall in love with a record from the first note. But in Hank's case and in Soul Station case, even if you listen just to the first track or the second track or the third, just one track, each one is a masterpiece. That's why it is a great record because every chapter of this book is a great chapter. I mean, this whole thing, when you think about it really, because you have so Station, it's right there, it's this huge masterpiece that is beyond any compare. And everybody, everybody, including Ellie, knows it. It's hard to believe that this was actually improvised. It feels like everything is in its right place. And it's so natural. And now I realize that the sound of this record is amazing. It makes you feel like yeah, you know, it hits you immediately. It is truly Soul Station. One aspect that appeals to me the most about Ellie's playing is his melodic sense. I mean, it's not just what he says, it's how he says it. Both the command on the instrument and also the emotion and the soul that's behind it, which together makes it really incredible. I mean, me and my friends, we couldn't help falling in love with the warm tone and, and the soul that is projected through his playing. He's all about giving, so you feel it in the playing. He comes to give when he sings his heart out. But we would miss what he has to say, what he had to say if it weren't for his phrasing. It's like someone is talking to you. You can actually hear the words. But you know, coming to the studio and, and with an idea of doing a remake, you have to think about, okay, what, what are you going to do that will make it as good, <laughs> at least as good as, uh, as it was in, in, uh, in originally, but at the same time have some of your fingerprints on it. It's one of the things that makes this remake legitimate, not just a mere copy, but a real tribute. You know that it has a reason. And he can explain why he did it, like emotionally and intellectually. It's, it's just what it is, it's, it's a tribute. You feel the, 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 the love that, that's there. Check him out, Hank Mobley. <laughs> <laughs>